there. My name is Renee King Sonnen. I'm the executive director of Rowdy Girl Sanctuary. I am a former Texas cattle rancher, and so is my husband, Tommy. Uh, I was not a very good cattle rancher. I, I was not ever wanting to really do the work involved in taking care of all those cows. And Tommy wanted me to get more involved in cattle ranching. He wanted me to care more about the business. So one day he came home and he told me that the rancher up the road just had these two calves and they didn't have a mama and, you know, did I want to buy them and take care of them? As any woman would when faced with the thought of two babies uh, abandoned or stripped from their mother, I thought, oh my God, let me go see, you know, and I got those baby calves, paid $300 a, a piece for them, and one of them is Rowdy. So the other one uh, died very, very young, but Rowdy Girl thrived. And not only did Rowdy Girl thrive, but she became the heartbeat to my interest in the veganism. As I began to uh, bottle feed her twice a day, and this baby began to nurture my heart. She began to nurture my soul. She began to give me eyes to see uh, the cows in a way that I'd never seen them. Rowdy Girl, started showing me their the individuality and I began to experience something for the first time. And that was a deep dive into my humanity, which is where genuine compassion lives. I would come home from feeding Rowdy Girl. Uh, very, very difficult for me to go from one world to the other, but I had to. I would very begrudgingly go back into the world of being a good cattle rancher's wife that heard no evil, saw no evil, you know, and just went along because that's what you do when you're a cattle rancher. I began to feel like, you know, what we were doing was so wrong. I hated the fact that we sent the animals to the cell barn. When I began to have these feelings, I just felt deep, deep, deep grief. And, uh, and that, but I did for five years. I lived in both worlds. It was tearing me up, uh, you know, trying to live in both worlds. When I transitioned to go vegan, I didn't even know I was going vegan. I really didn't. I was uh, as unprepared for that moment as anybody. And I didn't have any vegan friends. My only vegan friends were the cows. And those, those, individuals, all those cows, became my entrance into veganism. Uh, I began to uh, inspire and educate my husband on the things I was going through. The day I went out to the field and said, you take that trailer up the road one more time. You load them cows up one more time. I will follow you. I will take your credit card and I will buy them all back with your money and I'll bring them back. You try me but I was going against patriarchy. I was going against tradition. I was going against a culture of violence that was normalized. I was vegan. Tommy wasn't yet. And he was on his way and he didn't know it. I went vegan October 31st, 2014 on Halloween day. And my husband went vegan on May 2nd, 2015, not too far past me. We tried to feed, uh, you know, 69 hum hungry, hungry cows that used to be in production. And we don't feed them to go into production anymore. We feed them because we love them and they're part of our family. If you are struggling with the whole idea of veganism, get over it. It's just that simple. You got to get over it. Just freaking, you know, it took me five years to finally jump down that rabbit hole. The only thing I could say is what the hell took me so long?